Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening to Madam Ilya and all of you who are watching this. So today, nothing much. I just wanted to share to you guys some of my infos that I know about cyberbullying. So, what is cyberbullying? Some of you guys might not know what cyberbullying actually is. So I am going to give some some of the details of cyberbullying. So basically, cyberbullying is a part of bullying, but not physically. It's actually mentioned mentally and emotionally. So. From my observation, cyberbullying can be more dangerous than the physical bullying because from cyberbullying we could not see what are the aftermaths, what are the effects, what are the factors. For example, depression. No one can see the depression from a person. No one can see um, what do a victim of cyberbullying feels. And no one can see what are the suicide um, if if a person has suicidal thoughts after being a victim of cyberbullying. Instagram and Twitter, there are the platforms of cyber. So let's move to the next part. So let's move on to the next part. So I'm right now I'm going to talk about the factors of cyber. But before that, let me drink this. Okay. So from my observation, I think nearly everyone. specifically cyberbullying we just don't realize it but you might be one of the criminal accusations when it comes to cyberbullying so what you post what you share even if you just share some contents that might be funny to you but they might not be funny to the people who are being embraced of for example on twitter if someone is posting is someone if someone is posting a video of you Sleeping in a train, but people think it's funny, but not for you. All right, because that is you, that is what you feel. Okay. So, um, what are the effects of cyberbullying? Everyone knows the effects of cyberbullying. Committing suicide is one of the biggest potential impacts of cyberbullying. So, you might think that the matter is small to the victim, but, but for them, that is the most painful feelings they have, they have ever dealt with. So, to make it easier, you have to, when, when you are on social media, you have to be aware of what you are posting, what you are sharing, what you are commenting on. So, please, um, be careful of is real. It's not funny when it comes to depression because I have a friend that has dealt with depression too and she's gone now. She's gone for me because she doesn't know what to do because this is uh, this is not some joke that you, you might be laughing at. So, for example, for Netflix series, 13 Reasons Why, it is one of the best, uh, that is one of the best series I've ever watched that includes, that involves cyberbullying. So, please watch them on Netflix, 13 Reasons Why, with three seasons, all about cyberbullying, all about the problems that you created just by the tip of your finger. That's all on the effects. So before I conclude the topic for today, which is cyberbullying, I wanted to just to give some caution or advice to all of you including me so like I've said before we need to be careful on what we are doing on social media because um, what we are doing on social media affects other people too we need to uh, uh, we need to be careful of what we are posting what we are sharing what we are commenting and also how t the the only way to prevent cyberbullying is just just throw out throw away the negativity on your mind sometimes your opinions sometimes opinions are meant to be untold sometimes you just have to keep it to yourself and don't hurt, don't hurt other people's feelings don't do something that might make people upset you just keep the opinions to yourself if you have any negative opinions about other people just keep it to yourself and just spread positivity because 
that's how the world works that how that's how the society works actually so as a conclusion cyberbullying is spreading nowadays even the news they couldn't cover all of this cyberbullying that are uh, that are happening around the world because I think that people are expecting cyberbullying is the norms nowadays but it is actually not you can prevent them as well as physical bullying I'm not saying that cyberbullying is much more important than the physical bullying but both are dangerous so please think wise and please think wisely and do and make the right decision bye